everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Stealth Suit Spidey, Immortal Abomination, their arena is done, and we're going to take a look at the round two leaderboards. See if we see any names that we recognize. Now, I didn't go for either of these champions. I already have them. Uh, I don't have Immortal Abomination as a six star, but I wasn't interested in getting him as a six star. All right, so I just went for the uh, shards, one to five percent. And I got them both one to five percent good. And of course, I also uh, put up two point one five eight in this arena, uh, which is the top milestone. Uh, this grind is not not fun. Um, it is more effort than I did before, but I am getting more than I did before. Uh, and if you're curious, I have 75, six stars, so that's what makes this grind not as terrible as it is for uh, people with less uh, six stars. All right, we're going to take a look here. We probably won't see any names that we recognize, uh, not in this arena, and I know a lot of people aren't even doing this arena. I see a lot of names that are very similar. You guys are seeing this, right? Um, but anyway, uh, there's no telling that's not guaranteed that they're doing anything wrong. Uh, it could be just the same person made all of those accounts. Uh, but, you know, we let Kabam know and let them uh, figure out uh, what to do. Sometimes they gather all these things up. They learn from them. Uh, you know, you may wonder why uh, you don't see them. Uh, banned immediately. It may be that, you know, they're watching them, learning how they evaded their detection, strengthening the detection up a little bit, and then they go after them in that big old ban wave. Um, but if uh, they're legit, you know, no matter what it looks like, then they leave them alone. Yeah, see, I see so many names. Look at this. They're just... <laughs> but anyway... Um, this particular arena, uh, I try to do all the milestones. I never really did all the milestones in all the arenas when it was five. I did all the milestones in four of them. And then I did up to uh, the 30,000 milestone in uh, the two-star arena because I really didn't like that arena. But... Now I'm actually doing all the milestones because I don't have to use my two stars. I can actually use my uh, four stars and uh, getting more units than I used to. All right, we have our choice, but Immortal Abomination uh, is the basic. Uh, you see the score I'm putting up. Uh, the cutoff for one to five percent as far as I know, is anywhere between 23 and 25. That's what I recommend. Uh, it may be a little bit lower, but if you want to get the 1% to 5%, put up you know between 23 and 25. Although uh, I've heard of people getting it uh, with 22, 21. Uh, so your mileage may vary. All right, now let's see who... We may recognize for this immortal abomination, uh, BG already got him and he said he was not going for him again for the dupe. Uh, Ricochet. I seem to recognize that name. Uh, congratulations. All right, keep going here. Some of the names I recognize, you know, KT1. Congratulations, 35. Not bad. Uh, the Bearded Gamer, congratulations. I've seen your name. These are all people that got the six-star Immortal Abomination. First uh, top 100 that we're looking at here. All right. We're almost halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. Yes, that was a SpongeBob reference for those of you who are wondering if I just lost my mind. All right, Duke Gecko, congratulations. All right. Coat Hanger, congratulations. 
Yeah, this five star immortal abomination, um, black gamer. Congratulations. Uh, I wouldn't mind having him, but I was not gonna, you know, grind for him. I could have, not really wanting to. All right, so that was the top one hundred. Uh, Dagley, I am sorry. Uh, so I don't know whether to congratulate or give condolences most of the time, but one oh one, that's always gonna be a condolence. All right, let's see what other names here. Now, all of these guys here from 101 down to uh, 200, they got the five star. Uh, Brandon, I don't know. Congratulations. 108 seems like you were going for the six star. And 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 that's, that's the rough uh, part there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether to say congratulations or i am sorry leave a comment let me know but everyone here did get the five star and i'm assuming that the majority of these people here wanted the six star but there are some that wanted the five star and they just put up you know a safe score black knight congratulations or condolences i think i might do that from now on just you know Take your pick. If you were going for the six star, condolences. If you were going for the five star, congratulations. All right. That's not my Apex Predator. That's a different Apex Predator. All right. And that's it. All right. So that's the top uh, 200. Uh, don't think I missed anybody. If I did, please leave a comment below. Let me know what score you put up, what rank you got. Uh, I was looking for a particular name here. Uh, wanted to make sure I didn't miss it, but I may have. Uh, and so they may also be over in the other arena. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the Featured, which is uh, Stealth Suit Spidey, who some people love, some people hate. He is a prestige option. First round, he went really low. Um, I mean, I, I heard 45 low, um, maybe even lower than that. I, I don't remember. Um, but I think that might have been a fluke. A lot more people were going for him this round, and I'm pretty sure he went much higher. Is That's what I'm hearing. All right, so all of these guys, congratulations on that six-star Stealth Suit Spidey, top 100. Don't think I would give any condolences up here, but I'll tell you, if I had gotten the six-star Shang-Chi, I would not have been happy. If I had gotten him by accident, I wouldn't have been happy. Wouldn't have, you know, been crazy sad, but I, I would not have been happy. All right. Dakish, congratulations, my friend. 55. All right. Let's see anybody else. Dude Meister. Hmm. The Music Meister plays a song that the world likes to hear. Y'all remember that Batman episode? I think Batman, the Brave and the Bold. That episode was awesome. Uh, Anoop Phantom. That name sounds familiar. Congratulations. Oh, Lord. I'm not even saying that name. Months Behind. Congratulations. You snuck in there. 98. Wow. What score did you put up? You are really close to the cutoff. What did you put up, man? Leave a comment. Let me know. All right. And Bayum. My apologies and my condolences. Apologies for probably mangling your name and condolences that you did not get that six star. All right. Oh, Damadeus. I was looking for your name. I was hoping that you got him. 103. You were close, man. Oh. I'm sorry, man. 
And see now, Damadeus, I know, and I know he was uh going for that six star. Uh, let's see, Doctor Chaotic, um, recognize you. Hmm, man. I feel really bad for for folks that were going for that six star. I really do. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I go for a six star, unless one goes crazy low that I just feel like I must have or something. Um, but what I usually do is I wait. I pick up the five stars just because I like to collect and have a reason to grind. And um, it might be that one of these days we're going to have a, a six star that I don't have that I want. You know, maybe an opening. Uh, Karate Mike. Oh, boy. Were you going for the five star? That's the question. Um, But we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Getting down to the end. Big Sexy, man. What it do? Oh, were you going for it? I know Big Sexy has a, a big roster, but uh, sadly, what it's looking like these days for these arenas, and it's still early, but if you're not willing to refresh, you're probably not going to get the champion. There may be some, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, exceptions to that, but it looks like even with a large roster, you're not going to be able to compete with people who are willing to sit there and refresh for like 10,000 units uh, or more. You know, you're just not going to be able to do it because you don't really need a large roster. You need deep pockets. Uh, and this is a way to guarantee getting a champion, you know. So I don't know. I don't know what to say uh, about these. Kabam will be looking into it and making adjustments. So we just have to wait for that. In the meantime, I will pick up five-star champions on the cheap just to add to my roster. Uh, if I see a six-star that I'm willing to spend units on, then I will do that. But usually that's not me. I like to do unitless grinds. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up, what rank you put up. These are early um, early uh, arenas, so we're still gathering data so that we can make educated guesses on you know, how much these champions are going to be going for. Uh, the really safe scores seem to be over 100 million for featured or sought after champions, whether they're in the basic or in the featured. Um, you may see me go for a six star if it's one of the champions that I wanna um, dupe, Namor. Um, he's prestige, so he would go crazy high in the arena as a six star, but I want him duped. Um, Ghost, probably ain't gonna see Ghost. Uh, I would also want Nick Fury. I would grind for Nick Fury. Uh, and I would use units uh, to awaken Nick Fury. But other than that, uh, probably not anyone that I'd be interested in going for. All right, so take care. And you all have a blessed day.